Hello guys and welcome to episode 42 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign playing as Kostaltin, leading the Great Orthodoxy to save Urson. Today we are going to be finishing off Folk. We have managed to corner him against Doom Keep. So let's attack him. It looks like he could actually fall back, which is not what I expected, but we're still actually in range, I think, to attack him with the settlement, so it didn't really matter. Great, that's perfect. And honestly, with the two armies, this is e an easy to resolve. So we'll just take that. Yeah, we barely took any damage at all. I'll take the replenishment just to top us off, but we are pretty well off there. Okay, that's great. Let's continue chasing off this guy, Torvald, and then we're going to go down here, take out Groil. I'm also going to want to get rid of Grayling as well. I might try and do that. We do have Yusuf heading over, so maybe actually we leave that to him and we could send Ostalsin back the other way. Not sure. But we are going to go ahead and take the Lost Convoy here. Here's one of these treasures. And we will sail to the wreck. Let's do it. Oh, that's not a very big army. Okay, we'll take that. Thank you very much. 2,200 from that. Plus... 8,000. Great. So we're up to 31,000 in cash. That's really nice. Uh, might as well go a little bit further there. Totally fine. And we'll level up Alexi. Uh, let's go even further. Get that weapon strength up. Cool. Let's head over to Catherine. Catherine is gonna hopefully deal with this army, but they'll probably run away, I would guess. Okay, I don't even know if we're close enough to attack them. Maybe what I could do is hide here myself with an ambush stance. Is there anywhere nearby that I'd be able to do that? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go for the attack. Okay, actually that's great. I didn't actually think we were in range. I was kind of just waiting there for her to stop. But I didn't mind being close to her. I am going to play this out. I'm a little bit worried. But it will chunk my army a bit. And it will be quite an easy battle to win, so... We'll get in there and do it manually. Because all of their units are melee. And we are mostly ranged. We'll just kill them before they get close. And the nice thing about fighting corn, or most demons, is that they will disintegrate. I don't think that they don't have like any chaos warriors or anything, so yeah, all of these units should just die before they manage to get away. They will have to come to me, so I'm just gonna. Set up the checker box and spread out my Strauzzi in the middle with my other shooters on either side. If they stand there, we can always send Catherine forwards to go and annoy them. Looks like that's what we're going to have to do. Well, they spawned the blood letters there, but the blood letters took loads of shots in the back. There was an exalted blood letter. There it is. Do the magic on those. Right, those are taken care of. And we did actually lose quite a few of those. It's unfortunate. Down some magic. Great. Are they going to come towards us now? Nope. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do instead then is we'll spawn our kitty and we'll go have it attack the blood shrine over here. Go on, kitty. Kitty's pretty strong, to be honest. 
I think we have it upgraded a little bit now. We should be able to take care of the Blood Shrine for us. And if we can get rid of the Blood Shrine, we get rid of like the buff that comes with it. That would be pretty big. Oh no. Or Snow Leopard. I'm just gonna maybe fall back a little bit here. Now they're spawning another unit. I'm just gonna put these onto guard so that I can shoot the units that come in towards us. Well, that one's dead. Let's shoot the next one. For the people. When both of the bloodthirsters dead. Easy peasy. I'm just going to get the heals going. Looks like my front line might take some damage here. I actually didn't expect them to get so close. And yeah, that's it, that's victory. Just gotta kill off the chaos spawn. Great. Simple as that. Gets rid of that pesky horn army. Now we just got to deal with the Nurgle one coming our way. Constant invasion from the north. But it's okay now because we're kind of like on the way to our victory. It'd be interesting to see if there's any like big buffs that you get after you win. Because... It would be tempting for Immortal Empires to maybe try and world dominate, but I'm not sure we'll have the time. We'll see. I think it'd be a lot more difficult with uh, Kislev than it would be with my Scarbrand campaign, though. Send Just because I'd have so much more to take. Alright, so Catherine did level up. We actually haven't leveled up her Guardian Call. Maybe we could do that. But we're going to go for a Quartermaster for now. It's totally fine. And Darius Bebchuk can grab Impassioned. Okay, nice uh, <laughs> ice rock in front of us there. Let's see. Rastilton Bebchuk. What are you going to do? Are we going to head over to the Temple of Heimkull? I could actually come over here and claim Kalak Vlag, unless it's owned by Gaven. It looks like Darko Wharf might need defending from Nurgle. Although I don't really mind if I lose it, so it's not a big deal. I could easily head around here and start to colonize these. And colonization is free now because of uh, Boris. So, yeah, I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea coming around here. Since we have Catherine kind of ready to take care of this Nurgle army, she can also move over to Darko Wharf afterwards to help deal with that. Because we're generally going to play defensive now. I could go on like the offensive and start to take some of this land, which I will do at some point, but... For now, it just seems kind of pointless. It's interesting that since we've dealt with the threats down here of the ogres, Midlands finally able to send an army north. So Boris is sending his swordsmen and archers forwards. Right, let's try and assassinate this one. 
Maybe the Bogdan. Oh, we need Bogdan. Yota coming up here. And then we've got Yevgeny. He's also just going to move an inch. We're trying to get rid of corruption. The corruption's already gone there, actually. We've actually done a great job on corruption up here. This is amazing. Maybe what I do with Yevgeny then is we just head over towards corn here. We'll do that. We have building upgrade available, outpost upgrade available. I think we'll go for the level 5 garrison there. It's okay. Seven turns until our plus 2 re infantry and recovery ranks. That's great. And let's set it to lowest public order. Check the buildings here. Rogue Quarter can definitely get its level 3 settlement. We're going to upgrade this as well. We'll do a farmstead in here, I think, for the extra little bit of cash. I do have quite a lot of money. Get Karakaz Garaz upgraded. Might as well push up the walls here. I'm saying that. Let's just get Isleheart upgraded. I could actually give Isleheart to Altdorf, but they don't own Uberstrike, so that's actually kind of pointless. Here, is there any way I can get a better garrison? I don't think there is, so we'll just go for a farmstead. This one's, of course, going to be a market square. Actually, that's one thing I should check as well. I need to see where I'm going to build the anti, like, portal buildings. Pretty important that we have them. We can definitely Got one in Marienburg there. Build one in Krakadrak. Southern Green Mountains, we can build one at Kadek Ziflin. Oh, we could build one in Isleheart once that gets upgraded. At Northern Green Mountains, we'll get Grim Duraz upgraded first. Here we'll push for the dice, that's fine. 8,000 left. Yeah, I should still check for the portal buildings as well. And we have the growth here, so I'm kind of tempted to keep it as it is. So I don't really mind too much about portals popping up here for the time being. I think that spent the rest of our cash. Yeah, I did. That was cost quite a lot. It was like 7,000 for that upgrade. Great. Okay, that's done. Uh, yeah, Boris will have his uh, bears next turn, which is fantastic. And my income will tank. <laughs> right, we didn't really get to see what Nurgle did. That's okay. We'll work it out. Of the supreme... Maybe, just maybe, that an Empire faction of Ostland can take care of the vampires like they always wanted to. So, minus 5% recruitment cost. That would have been nice before I recruited f 6 units of bears. Well, the other thing that I need to do here is get a mage into Boris' uh, army. Is there one that I have that could come over here. Like, technically, she could. But I kind of made her an assassin. Maybe we just get a new one. It's been a while since I did anything with the ice court. So maybe it's time to do it again. Because I didn't do it for ages 
due to the fact that I got so many new mages when we confederated. But now would be a good time to get a new one, I think. Let's go to the ice court. And we'll get Frost Maiden heroes. Ivana Costina. Alright, cool. Let's go through these decisions. The construction cost reduction there is perfect. That's totally fine. Alright. Costaltin. We gotta take out Groyle. And Yosef can colonize this. That is going to leave him very low on men. But if this turn we have Costalton next to him, he should be fine. Right, brass lunged, not really necessary. This is his last point, isn't it? I think I was going to go for charge. Unless there's anything else I can think of. I mean, he's got sleds. Maybe we could go for skilled craftsmen as the last point to get the extra eight armor for them. We'll go for devastating charge. Totally fine. Right, so we'll upgrade bare blades. I am truth. And yeah, we'll just since we can't actually attack. Oh, maybe we can. It's weird how like. That's the case. But I'm just going to march into range of uh, the Bay of Blades to keep that defended. Alright, Catherine. I think we got to wait until they come on to shore. Uh, meanwhile... Alright, actually, let's just go into Krakadrak. And... Maybe I can recruit something that's useful here. It would be cool to have a snow leopard. There are actually quite a lot of units that I can get in one turn that are pretty good. Like the like the Wing Lance is not bad and like the Strautzi. Be nice to get some good units though finally, like some Ice Guard. I really did want to give Sarina Catherine her Ice Guard. Ice Guard with swords would probably be more useful than the Ice Guard with glaives. Well, the Ice Guard with glaives get better melee defense. What's that other charge defense they get as well? And armor piercing. Okay, interesting. I mean, their ranged attack is the same. Like that's three turns of having to sit there while the Snurgle army is nearby. I will brook no <laughs> that's the only trouble with recruiting like this. Uh, let's just grab like a unit of pistoliers for now. That's actually not a bad idea. Some cavalry to like run things down is never a bad idea. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Forbidden Citadel with Boris Ursus. There is a bunch of corn armies coming across, including Corson. Let's head over to Rastilton. Stilton's still going to be marching round to Karak Vlag. Evelina could go for another assassination attempt. We have Bogdan. Let's get that corruption, anti-corruption going. Yota's moving up again, and Evgeny is going to head over to the lands of Corn. 
forbid it. Cool. Only 3,000 to spend. I'm not going to bother going through this too much. I'm just going to double check the ones that are lower. Yeah, that will definitely worth upgrading. Okay, cool. That is everything done. Let's move on to the next turn again. Nice, that's good. Sorry, Nakatarin got the recruitment cost reduction. That's actually been really great for dealing with getting the Ice Guard. They really want me to fight the uh, vampires down there. Okay, over to Kost Stoughton. Uh, let's go and attack over here. Okay, never mind. We're not going to be in range. Yeah, not this time. I stand for Kislev. And he is what camping like right on the edge there. Okay, what we're going to do? We're going to go out of the settlement. We're going to go into this stance, and we'll move up so that we can still replenish next turn. It might force them to attack us or something. And Nurgle has come on land, and they are in March Dance, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pick them out. Goodbye. More experience for Katarine. <laughs> Great. Take the money. Thank you very much. Wow, they're just feeding Katarine with XP. Don't know where to put it. I'll just go Quartermaster, I guess. Get a logistician. Go over to Renowned and Feared. Uh, Darius can finish off Impassioned. Great. Mistress of Ice. And we have the Ice Court decision. I think Tempest magic is just generally better than Ice magic. So we're going to go for the Tempest magic. For Kislev. Evelina, try again. Good job. Them. Critical success. Nice. Assassination maxed out. Over to Piotr. He's coming up. I can arrange your execution. Okay. Rastilton's going to be marching round. And I think that is it once again. How many turns left we got on this? Two turns. That's fine. We also have Boris, of course. You can move. I don't think I need to worry too much about this army for now. Pretty small. Like, it can't really do much to Winterpire. You're going to upgrade Winterpire. And we'll also put a farmstead in there. So what's the garrison actually look like right now? Yeah, that's easily enough. Uh, the other one that I guess is vulnerable is Black Gulch right now. I'm surprised we don't have the growth yet to level that up. Get the pair of blades upgraded anyway. This could actually be worth upgrading. Because that's hero and lord. So that would include the ice mage. I assume they'll come in at a higher rank. At four, Bergbury. I guess we're just going for the market square. A Kalex Ziflin. We're going to want to get the Night Patrol House. And the Southern Grey Mountains. Yep, that is for sure. I do not want any portals popping up down here. The last thing I can be bothered to do is move my armies all the way back south again to deal with that. Like, it'd be so annoying. That's why I need Grimdaraz leveled up as well. 
<laughs> I would probably just build a new army, I guess, to deal with it. But even so, it'd be really frustrating. Uh, any diplomacy that we can do, like currently, we have trade agreements and stuff with everybody who we want to have trade agreements with. Everybody in the Empire likes us except from Vissenland because of our alliances. Surprised it's still going up though, our attitude. The amount of times I decline their requests is unbelievable. Scarbrand coming in to say hello. He's actually going for Doom Keep again. Which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Just constantly. Okay, comrade in arms, forge a defensive alliance with, or military alliance with the northern provinces. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, well, it's time to wipe out at least Grayling. They should be dead. I'm probably going to send Yosef up here to help deal with Scarbrand. Because he's coming in hot with a lot of Minotaurs towards Doomkeep. And whilst Doomkeep does have a reasonable garrison, I feel like Scarbrand himself is going to be incredibly difficult for the garrison to deal with. But we do have a big battle on our hands as we're going to go up against Groyal, backed up by Sven Overson and the Settlement Garrison. Let's go. Now, this is sort of battle where I think Kostaltin and his Patriarch could probably do a lot of the work. But we'll of course get the bears involved. Well, everything involved. Get those Kossars firing away. If they can. We're not really going to want to hold back here. We'll probably just charge them down. I'm going to put our bears into a group. We're going to put those lot into a group. Actually, I might put that in group one. Okay, let's get going. Their reinforcements arrive in like two and a half minutes, which gives us plenty of time to work with. But what we can do is just kind of like focus on left to right. The bears riding through the trees, charging their enemies down. going to want to stay relatively close to those, I think. Okay, we're doing a good job on the flank here. Get the first of the eels down. Yeah, a relatively good place for some magic. So we'll plop that down. Did absolutely no damage. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, well, let's do a blizzard here. Defeat, and then we'll do the hailstorm on top of it. Always a good combo. Let's 
going to put these onto guard. And I'm going to make sure they shoot those. And they shoot those. Great. Should finish off the majority of the ogres. That's a lot of dudes coming our way. All bad in knocked about. Let's get some heals in there. They're really coming in hot. Look at that. <laughs> That's a lot of dudes. My lady here is getting hit pretty hard. Bound a bit of winter in a second. There we go. We'll drop down the hailstorm on top of that. We'll do loads of damage. Brilliant. There we go. The power the healing going. I got the Tormentor Sword down, so that's worked out perfectly. Well, my Cossars are actually pretty good in melee, so these Marauders will struggle a little bit. You can see they got. 54 melee attack and it costs us. A bunch of units here doing nothing. Right, let's get the uh, biting wind through here. Nice. That actually did a decent chunk of damage for sure. The other thing that might do a lot of damage is if I can get my bear get a nice breath attack through here. Go on. Oh, it's perfect. That was a perfect angle. It didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, but it was the perfect angle. Another bitterness of winter in there. Where's my leaders? They need to get in here and heal up. Fantastic. And now we just spread out the bears. Sons of separate targets. The bear. Finish them off. Although I'm pretty sure after this battle we can just attack the settlement and reorder resolve it and take that. Be good. But the more we can whittle down, the less we'll lose in the auto resolve. Let's just end the battle there anyway. Can't be bothered to chase him down. Nice kills on those bears. They're so good. Also, I think if we weren't so close to the edge of the map, the sleds there would have been really useful. That's one more piece of the puzzle dealt with when it comes to the Challenge Stone pack. They have one army left. 
I think once that's destroyed, we take him out once and for all. Well, I say once and for all, they can always respawn because they're a rogue army. And that's why I hate rogue armies. <laughs> just They should just go away forever. Oh, look at that. 12% replenishment? Don't mind if I do. Didn't even destroy the army, though. That sucks. Alright, well, I'm going to order resolve that. That will kill the army. And then we're just going to occupy it. Thank you very much. Actually, let's put a roadhouse in there as well. Getting as much growth as possible in there is really good. That's Grayling wiped out. I'm happy with that, for sure. Over to Catherine. She's dealt with the Nurgle army. She's got more on their way. Just really wish that she had time to recruit here. Bring me to my tent. Zarina Catherine of I'm quite happy to sit here though because it's, just, it's like a whole army of Nurglings. We are both servants. Uh, Crackerdrack does have a reasonably good garrison now. Shot tracking. Yep, more or less the same. It's tempting to start the recruitment, but we'll leave it for now. All right, manifest power. Let's see, as well as battle magic, some ice maidens are granted permission to learn formidable elemental powers that have only manifested during the time the ice queen has resigned or reigned. Sorry, <laughs> but which would the, or which one should this maiden focus on? The reason I read resigned is because obviously the ice queen is under our command now. So, Glacial Blast, which I guess is the same as the one that Katarin has. Or we can grab Ice Shard. Ice Shard could be pretty cool. I'm going to take Ice Shard cause, just because I haven't used it before. I, I guess it's just like an Ice Fireball, pretty much. I would assume. Anyway. With... Catherine. Let me just chill out. My role, my decision. You just go to like Cracker Drack or something. Stay there. And meanwhile, Rastelton heading over here towards Kalak Vlag. We start getting rid of some of that Skaven corruption. And yeah, I guess the Skaven are there, so we'll just kill them. <laughs> Let's take the Forbidden Citadel. Lovely. And while we're here, maybe it's time to add some different units. Does he technically have like siege attacker? Because I don't. If he doesn't, like it might be worth getting like a little grom. Like these have by our blood, which is our passive trait, but that is. It more or less. Yeah. I oh, know I guess we could sit here and get a little grom. But he kinda of, like he he has a um quite mobile army, so maybe having that is not necessary. Ah, faithful workers. I guess if we are gonna do that. I'm gonna merge these. I cannot eradicate chaos alone. I'm gonna grab some Sargard. Honor Orson. Zar needs an army. Yeah, because he is a Sar at the end of the day. So Sargard makes sense. <laughs> we'll get in the Zars there. Uh, does he have the skills for that? We have firing drills, we've got creature of the land. I do you wanna give him a bear? an elemental bear at some point, but I can't recruit one at the moment. Ah, faithful workers. So best of the court will go for at some point. And he does get the bonuses for Zargard unit, so yeah, that's actually worth having. Cool. 
It's going to be a bit more of a traditional army then, if we are actually going to use proper melee units. Suffer winter spite. Twenty-seven percent, not enough. Head over to Bogdan. He's still dealing with the corruption there. That's good. Actually, let's try and take care of them. Fantastic. And Yevgeny has made it to the shore. Lower the corruption here. So corruption here must be pretty high. Yes, it is indeed. Okay, heading over to Adamans. Oh, we can get another one. Okay, cool. So a growth one would be good. Can't get a growth one. Corruption reduction would be good. Maybe here in like the Trollheim Mountains. And the public order, the control effects, but then there is that nice one that has the plus ten percent income. Like I could put the plus ten percent income here. I think I'm gonna do that. And we'll move him somewhere else. I'm going to move him up there. So we get the growth, we get the corruption reduction. Put this guy there. For the extra 5%. Then we have. Is that a decision? It is. Financially prudent or defender? Or fiscally prudent, sorry. Extra income from all buildings plus 10%. Yeah, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Thank you for that free money. Got another atom decision, which is up here. We can get Ice Court Informer or Reverend Patriarch. In the Ice Court Informer would not be a bad idea because I am going to need one soon. And since I can probably recruit her like here, that would be fine. Yeah, I can recruit them there, so that's good. We will do Ice Court Informer. And then we have this guy who can get good host or banisher. Good host is definitely more useful. Got the plus fifteen percent though, which is really nice. Apparently he's in Eastern a blast, which doesn't really need the growth right now. Doesn't really need the corruption reduction either though. Okay. Moment available in the Trollheim Mountains since we took the Forbidden Citadel. So we will pop the urge the steps there for the time being, I think. Body Slow down any forces that are going to come down towards Boris. Fantastic. Let's move on. Scarbrand really is committing, surprisingly, considering he's not really that good must be like strong. Usually, he comes over with full stacks. Strange. The Confederation of the Oracles of Siege and the Broken Wheel—that's totally fine. Now we got Master Mason for Costalton. Too busy building stuff. <laughs> Then we'll get that upgraded. Pop the got an iron mining pit. I guess we we'll grab that. That's fine. Cliffs of Death are going to have a rebellion scene. That's going to be at Darko Wharf. We'll probably lose that. The Tome of Fates knows all. 
The rifts are our opportunity to reach the Chaos Realms. Now, I truly earn my fee. And yet, a gateway opens both ways. While we may traverse the rifts to enter the realm of Chaos, or even be transported to far-flung areas of this world, we must close the gateways not required, or the demon tide that flows forth will lay your lands in ruin. So the rifts have opened. Okay, okay. That's uh, interesting. It's kind of bad timing from the south, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's pretty good. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. The only rift near Costalton is here, so we'll just head straight for that. That means we're going to get very close to the end of the game, because like next turn or like next episode, I can just kind of go through the Snesh Realm pretty fast. Like, it, oh, I say fast. I mean, it's still going to take quite a few turns, but we will get to the Soul, and then be able to like finish with all four Souls. I don't know what happens after that, so we'll have to wait and find out. It's going to be exciting. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.